Hey, news, religion, hip hop, and politics. I'm banned in America. I'm the shadow band man. Make sure that you leave your thoughts in the comment section. Okay, so I'm scrolling down the streets of YouTube, and I hear, I see Candace Owens being interviewed, right? And she's talking to DJ Academics, right? And one of the things that she said that struck something in my mind that made me say, you know what? I'm going to go on and I'm going to talk about this. She talked about how Cardi B was chosen by President Biden and his political staff to represent African-American people. Because at one point in time, she was asking Biden questions. You know, when he was trying to, when he was on the political campaign trying to become the president. Now, a lot of individuals hate Candace Owens because they don't agree with some of the things that she says. Now, I personally don't know her, and I'm not totally against a lot of the things that she mentioned because sometimes I see things in alignment with her. Now, of course, that's not to say that I agree with everything that she says, but I am a realistic individual, especially when I see the African-American community because I am a part of the African-American community and I represent the bottom of the African-American community. You see, I represent the part of the African community that is the statistic. You know, the person that's been arrested, incarcerated, you know, broke, violated the, the rules and regulations of society, et cetera, you know, broke the law. You know, so I'm considered a part of the bottom of society. So when I see African-American people and I see the political world, I see it from a different perspective because I'm what people hate. You got what I'm saying? I'm the shadow band man. Do you understand? But a lot of the things that she was saying in this interview about how those on the other side view and hate African-American people and they choose who our leaders are. They feel like African-American people or black people, whatever you want to call them, but people that look like this, they feel as if we're stupid. And they have to choose who represents us like we don't have a choice in that matter. Now, one of the things that she said is that Cardi B was chosen to question Biden when, you know, and she said, look, you could have had Candace Owens ask him some questions. You could have had Killer Mike ask him some questions. You could have had someone who is mindful and who is politically aware, especially as it applies to the social environment and the political plight of people who look like this. But they didn't do that. They had the individual, and this is not to degrade her. This is not to speak down upon our sister, because regardless of what she has done or do, she is still our sister. But let me show you what they feel about our community. Instead of having someone who is dedicated to understanding politics, to understanding the social problems that exist right now for African-American people, instead of choosing someone who's within the political spectrum or who understands the ideological spectrum, they choose a person who admittedly talks about drugging people and taking their money, a person that was a stripper and bragged on YouTube about how she would drug individuals, and then take their money. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying this to say or to speak down upon strippers. Hey, strippers are strippers. They do what they do. Hey, you do what you do. It's all good. I ain't hating on that. You make your money how you choose to make your money. However, when you're merging, an individual who comes from the bottom and who does all the things that bottom people do, which is be conniving and do all types of things that could be deemed illegal and could get you a lot of prison time, that's the person that you choose to interview you when you got Michael Eric Dyson. You got, if you're talking about the hip-hop community, you got Killer Mike. Hey, you even got people from the Breakfast Club. You got what I'm saying? Like, you got people who are prominent, who represent the whole quote-unquote hip-hop culture, and you're trying to rape the hip-hop vote. There are people who can speak from a social standpoint and a political standpoint who represent the hip-hop community and who understand politics and could ask knowledgeable questions, ask Questions that will hold you accountable for what you do or what you fail to do. But you choose Cardi B, someone who does not represent anything of social awareness, political awareness. You got what I'm saying? And like I said, this ain't knocking Cardi B. She does what she does. She's a beautiful person from what I've seen. You know, I've met her. She looked beautiful. She looked great. You got what I'm saying? And um, I've been to strip clubs. You got what I'm saying? So I would never hate on stripping. You know, hey, do what you do. Hey, a lot of strippers done took my money. You got what I'm saying? When I was a younger person. Now I'm an old person. I, just, I got to keep my money. You understand what I'm saying? I got to put kids through school. You understand? But my point is Candace Owens, she had a lot. She made a lot of points. When she was talking to Char, I mean not Charlemagne, but DJ Academics, you know, and a lot of times since people don't like her and they try to undermine her as an individual, then you know she's like the low hanging fruit, so she gets the punches first, you know. But she made a lot of great points, and if you take your emotions out of the situation, then you will see that hey, a lot of the things that she say come from a standpoint of I understand what's going on. And a lot of times we're not politically aware. We're not socially conscious because we are in the struggle. And a lot of times when you are in the struggle, then sometimes you just can't involve yourself in the social transportation of society. Now the social transportation of society is the political world, the entrepreneurial world. When you're struggling, you just got to focus on the struggle and getting yourself out of the struggle. You understand what I'm saying? So man, shouts out to Candace Owens. She was going in on Cardi B, but I don't like how she was going in. She was kind of going in. Sometimes some of the things that she say is distasteful for, for, for how I would say it. You got what I'm saying? But shit, she ain't me. I ain't her. You got what I'm saying? So she just got to stand on her square and she got to be herself, you know? Now, one thing I will say is that when society, you know, she said that black people did better under Donald Trump. The reason why black people did better under Donald Trump is because they thought in their mind, you know what? This guy's not going to do anything for us, so we have to do for ourselves. So I keep promoting and pushing and trying to market. Do for yourself. This has to be a nation that's all FUBU. You know, it's got to be for us and by us. No one is going to do anything for you, and you can't expect them to. You're going to have to do everything for yourself. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody's going to do anything for you. And you have to have that mindset. You got what I'm saying? No one cares. This is just real talk, man. Nobody is going to care about what you're doing. Nobody. Nobody cares when you get harmed in the streets, 
when law enforcement knock you down, nobody cares. These politicians, these congressmen, these councilmen, they are make, these people at your city hall, they are making decisions that affect you. And they don't even know you. And guess what? They don't care nothing about you. So my point is no one's going to do anything for you. You're going to have to do for yourself. Shadow ban.